Dublin Live reported that a teen was attacked by a gang of 20 youths. The Irish Times reported that pro-life activists protested at Galvia West Medical Centre in Galway as it distributes abortifacients. Life News reported that Naral are trying to block Marsha Blackburn and Joni Ernst from the Senate Judiciary Committee in America as they are both pro-life. The Irish News reported that the South East Antrim Brigade of the Ulster Defence Association are terrorising children and babies. The Guardian reported that Jair Bolsonaro spoke of Brazil's liberation from socialism at his inauguration. The Guardian reported that the British government will reinforce the RUC in a World Trade Organization Brexit scenario. The Blaze reported that the United Church of Canada kept Reverend Greta Vosper despite the fact that she is an atheist. Al Mazdar reported that Donald Trump didn't give a limited time frame for United States withdrawal from Syria. Press TV reported that Jeremy Hunt said Bashar al-Assad will remain as president of Syria. Business Insider reported that Donald Trump stated that the Soviet Union were correct to intervene in the Democratic Republic of Afghanistan. Newsweek reported that Donald Trump told Americans to calm down and enjoy the ride. The Federal Bank of St. Louis's figures show that Seattle's food and drink services employment grew to over 150,000 after Seattle raised the minimum wage. The Metro reported that in the United States and all European nations bar Italy, men are more disadvantaged than women.